okay? Thank you. I'm glued to this screen. Yeah, I, that's fine. It's only 2 o'clock. I got your email. Now, yeah. before I say what I think, I want to hear what you think. Well, at this moment, um, I just think it's doing what it did earlier. It's about 11 o'clock. It seems to be just plateauing again. I'm looking at the 15-minute chart. It looks like it's going to drop again. So I'm asking you what you think. What are you up now? Uh, at this get... moment, I'm up seven and a half approximately. Yeah, I figured you're up more than seven grand. Okay, so so again, what do you think? Just step away from the money a minute, and what do you think of the chart here? I, I think it's going down again. And looking at that chart, if it makes the same leg that it's just done down from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, that will be a nice move. So did, that, it, did it make a slidey board yet or not? Well, no, we haven't had swift action. Definitely not. Well, I mean, I mean it's, it's sold off, but I wouldn't consider this uh, a falling off a planet slidey board kind of thing that you'd be looking for the exit yet. I think if, like, let's just pretend today was 359 and this was the close of this move here, I think yes. it would be lower tomorrow. So, like, I'd, this could be it for today. And if it is, I'd hold it into tomorrow. You still got a week left in the trade. But I'm saying to you, it could slippery slide in the next two hours, and then I'd watch for the exit. And then you're gonna you're gonna hit the number I said if it does it today, which I don't know. We got two more two more hours left. I I here I didn't look at the market in the last few minutes. Let me just look at the market. Yeah, I've got the spy next to it, and it has actually been it's been <laughs> quite volatile. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe we won't bounce today. I mean, I'm a little bit surprised at the sell off. I really have been just focusing on work, so I haven't been reading the news, and I haven't had the TV on. But I'm. I'm not even going to deal with it. I'll see what, what we do tomorrow. But overall, I, I, this was the day to go. If you want to get out of this today, it's not a problem, but I don't think it's done. If it closes right here, I don't think the trade is done. If it falls off a planet here today, then yeah, watch it. You just got to keep watching it. I can't, I don't, I don't know where this is going to close. This is not what I was explaining to you and describing to you earlier. So I wouldn't necessarily kill this. If it closes like this, you can hold it overnight. Right. I will do that. Then and then it will like either it. gap down tomorrow morning, and then you can watch it and see if you hold it or get out into the open, or... It'll it'll do something tomorrow to tell you, you can hold it and it'll drop again. I, this is this is just a boner. So it's either gonna fall off a planet today or tomorrow. I'm just I just know that it will. So it is. So. Right. So right. I yes. I, I mean, it just looks like it's right going now. sideways now. What mm -hmm. concerned me was if it turned at 157.50 and it went higher, it moved up. I know. Morning. That's why I wanted to jump on the mic with you because you have these things in your head. It's just like when Howard said the other day in the room. It's like. <laughs> That what does that have to do with anything at all? That has nothing to do with your. You have these. You're, you're thinking if it goes over the pivot on the 15 minute chart to 158.50, that it, that the trade is done. No, 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 no. This isn't a day trade. You're not managing this like a day trade where, oh my God, yeah. I got to get out of this by four o'clock or if it's going to reverse and I'm going to. This isn't. A, this is an option. You've got. You've got a week plus left in this. Don't manage them like that. You can be tight like that when you're managing them when you're at the target or something, which, you know, I mean, again, you decided that you were holding this for a bigger move. So it's not like you erred in exiting Apple yesterday because not only did it go to the first target, which was a strike, it went $3 through it. So I don't, I didn't understand your logic holding that at all yesterday. This is, this is different. You, the, really, we talked about the dream target is 150, but 155 was a real target, or I never would have called that that second trade. So right. that was a real target, and we're not at 150. Do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. I mean, even the move is I mean, made now. If it 155, again, I meant. Yeah, huh? excellent. Sorry. I, I meant 155. We're not at 155, which when I trade, when I called the trade, not just. You know, I'm, I know what I saw on September 24th, which seems like a while ago because it was last yes. week. But on September 24th, I said, oh, this is going to go to 155 in the next three weeks. And I, I will be right because it's going there. But I'm not saying you hold it to there necessarily because if it has a big drop early, meaning like today or tomorrow, I'm not yes. saying you hold it all the way out till then or 150, even though really this very well could go to 150, but I don't really think it's a great idea to wait through any kind of one more uh, no, 155 situational will be day. Fine. Huh? <laughs> yeah. 155 will do really well for me. Thank you. Well, you're going to be up, you're going to be up over 15 grand at 155 because I figured you'd be up around 12 today or around 156. So it's, right. you, you, you'll get that action in it because then people are going to start to buy that put. See, 
That was very aggressive to call the trade that I did in the 24th to buy the 155 puts. The stock was at 162. Now just think about this. This is the amazing thing about options and why you gotta be able to just breathe a little bit. This yes. stock ran all the way up, even after I called the, the put, to 20, almost 20 points away from the strike. I mean, I was almost yes. 172. And now you say, oh, well that's totally doable. We're $2 away. But, you know, last week when everyone was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, it was 20 points away. And that's why this is turning out to be a good trade. But I saw it before it did the rally because I read the gap. But that's, you know, this is trading. That's why you have to stick on the information and you can't get too in your head because you can't just this is fine. I don't know. I, again, this stuff that you say, this I got uh, that email when you said 150 or 50, that, is, that has absolutely no meaning whatsoever at all. If you were day trading this on the 15 minute chart today and you were profitable in it and you got it at a 160 and you wanted to put a stop over 158, yes, that logic, I can follow the logic, but you're not. You're in an option trade and you're in this now for more than a week and you're full on and you still have six days left to go. So, you know, this is not the same thing. Look, this is going to drop again. It's going to drop yes, again. It's it's just that you can understand my, you know, my position. I, I don't Listen, want to Listen, if you want to get it out of, out of it now and make $7,500, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just trying to help you and it's spending a lot of time I know, with you on I want, it. I'm, like I'm, to see I'm you make asking the money. your advice and I will hold it and I will hold it into tomorrow. Um, I know, well, you because, didn't take my advice yesterday on Apple in the room when I said get out. And just going back, well, even if you hadn't been there, just listen to me. It went yes. through the strike. Three bucks. Yes, I you know, know it I'm did. Saying? I know it did, but you also said. I said 240. Said, I know I did, but the bottom line is that was a huge number. It could still go there, but the bottom line is the market gap down, and it doesn't even matter. You shouldn't hold every trade to some massive target. You should not right. do that, and you should just, period, not do that. This is right. okay, and that's why I'm helping you with this. But I never yes. said hold Apple to 240. I never said it. You said, where could this go? I said it could go to 240. But guess what? The market gap down this morning and negative news. But guess what? If it hadn't, Apple probably would be at 240 by tomorrow because yesterday it was almost at 235. So, yes. I mean, it is what it is. You have to, there's a lot of variables, a lot of factors. That's why you got to listen to what I say. I'm trying. I'm trying yeah, to. you're trying, but you don't everything. stop with these pivots and things. Yes. All right, okay. I'm telling you right you. now, if it was 358, I'd shut it off and go about your business. If this right. drops, you got two more hours, see where it goes. But I would stay, I would hold this overnight. I would hold this overnight if it closed right now. I will do. Okay, All I right. will do. Okay, good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> bye. bye.